Welcome to the world of Pioneer Hi-Fi. Our receiver lineup this year consists of three powerful models. Each is packed with features such as microcomputer control for true versatility and easy operation. We've given our two top models, SX60 and SX50, oversized one-panel fluorescent displays. Indicating power output, selected signal paths, and other important information, these displays make operation easier and more fun, while adding a distinctive touch to their appearance. In each of their respective power classes, our new receivers are champions, providing more power for the money. 80 watts per channel in the SX60, 50 watts in the SX50, and 38 watts in the SX40. In every case, distortion is very low. Only 0.005% in the SX60, for example. Each of our new receivers has an input that accepts the audio output of video equipment such as a VCR or video disc player. You'll find a corresponding selector switch on the front panel. In this age of stereo hi-fi, there are still many mono programs, among them videotapes and TV broadcasts. Therefore, we've given our new receivers a special feature, simulated stereo. At the touch of a switch, sound of any mono program, videotape, AM, FM, or TV, is enhanced to simulate stereo. The SX60 delivers 80 watts of power with 0.005% or less distortion. It features our non-switching power amp and a synthesizer tuner with 10 FM and 10 AM presets. The SX50 offers 50 watts of power with 0.007% distortion, has Pioneer's non-switching power amp and a synthesizer tuner with 8 FM and 8 AM presets. and the SX40, 38 watts of power with 0.02% distortion and presets for 8 FM and 8 AM stations. Of course, the SX40 has a video input and simulated stereo. Four new integrated amplifiers all feature Pioneer exclusive low distortion non-switching power amps. What you are looking at is the waveform of actual music as measured at the output of an amplifier. The power supply voltage fed to the output transistors should have high enough headroom so that high level program signals are not clipped. During soft passages, however, all that's necessary is a low power supply voltage. Yet conventional power supply designs provide constant high voltage, which leads to power loss. In conventional designs, power supply headroom is built in 
so that clipping does not occur even during loud passages, but music is not always loud, as you know. The dynamic nature of music means some passages are loud and others are soft. Yet during soft passages, conventional power supply designs provide the same high amount of voltage to the transistors. The result is power loss, represented here in orange. The power supply design we have been describing is the type used in Class B amplifiers, the most common power amps now in use. Much of the power that should have been spent driving the speakers is wasted in the form of heat. In other words, Class B amps suffer significant power loss. Our new Pioneer dynamic power supply provides low voltage most of the time to save energy. Then when the music becomes louder and the power demand becomes greater, the power supply instantly increases its voltage to allow the amplifier to provide its full power without clipping. The result is that the power transistors are supplied with the voltage they need at any given time, never too much or too little. It means reduced power loss. In this chart, the power loss of a popular Class B amp is compared with that of a Pioneer non-switching amp featuring the new dynamic power supply. As you can see, the power loss of the Pioneer amp is only one half that of the Class B amp. In other words, it's roughly twice as efficient. Let's investigate how the dynamic power supply works. Most of the time when music is soft, a low power supply voltage circuit, B low, in the picture is in operation. But as the dynamics increase and music gets louder, a second power supply circuit, B high, is turned on the moment the power output exceeds a prescribed threshold. It supplies a varying high voltage through the transistors in accordance with the dynamics of the music. to avoid clipping on high-level, high-frequency signals, the V-high circuit is designed so that it supplies full voltage instantaneously and maintains that level over a specified duration of time. We are now entering a new audio age, the digital age. Digital audio systems like the new compact disc offer noise levels of minus 65 decibels or less. Even at low volume levels, sound remains cleaner and clearer. Digital audio also has an expanded dynamic headroom of 25 decibels. High level sounds are fully reproduced with extremely low distortion and transient response is excellent. What you get is a total dynamic range of 90 decibels, a near approximation of real-life dynamics. Moreover, response is flat at any level from the lowest to highest audible frequencies. Our new non-switching amps, featuring a dynamic power supply, are fully compatible with digital sound sources. The output of conventional Class B amps is a composite signal, the result of paired transistors switching on and off alternately at high speed. This mode of operation generates a type of distortion called switching distortion. As you see, distortion of a pulsive nature occurs each time the top waveform is joined to the bottom one or each time one transistor turns off and the other turns on.
but our non-switching amp does not allow transistors to switch off. A high-speed bias servo, what we call very bias, keeps them on at all times. Since the amp does not switch, no switching distortion whatsoever is generated. The sound you hear is clearer and more pleasing to the ear. Again, here's a comparison of non-switching and Class B amps. Our top amplifier, model A90, delivers a hefty 200 watts of power at only 0.002% distortion. It features the dynamic power non-switching amp and a head amp for MC cartridges. A70 offers 120 watts at 0.003% distortion from its dynamic power non-switching amp. A high gain equalizer is built in for MC cartridges. The A60, another dynamic power non-switching amp, has a power output of 100 watts at 0.007% distortion. Like the A70, it has a high gain phono equalizer. Next, the A40. Power is 70 watts and distortion is 0.009%. It has two CD auxiliary inputs and a stereo seven segment LED output power indicator. The F90 and F70 are our two new tuners this year. Let's follow an FM signal as it travels through the various stages of a conventional tuner. First, the signal from the antenna is amplified and stripped of interference by the front end. Next, it's converted to an IF signal. The detector turns the IF signal into an audio analog composite. An anti birdie filter removes noise components in the supersonic range. But as it does, it also removes some of the IF signal. The result is an increase in noise and distortion. The composite signal is then mixed with a subcarrier, which is in fact a series of 38 kilohertz square waves. Since square waves are made up of an infinite number of harmonics of the 38 kilohertz signal, they add noise and distortion to the signal. The stereo multiplex decoder separates the mix into left and right channel information. Finally, the low pass filter eliminates subcarrier components. All that remains is the audio signal at the tuner's output. In conventional tuners, the IF signal is converted into analog form by a detector. From there on, signals are processed in analog form. Noise and distortion are inevitable. Our digital direct decoder differs from conventional tuner designs in the way the stages after the IF operate. The output from the IF is converted into a series of digital pulses by a pulse converter. 
These pulses are then mixed with a subcarrier that is a series of 38 kilohertz sine waves. Then the stereo multiplex decoder separates these pulses into left and right channel information. Finally, the low pass filter removes 38 kilohertz components to deliver an analog audio output. As you saw, the FM signal is processed in digital form in all stages from the IF to the multiplex decoder. There's little distortion at the output because no anti birdy filter is used and because the sine wave subcarrier contains no harmonics. Pictures are more eloquent than words. Thanks to the new digital direct decoder, our F90 tuner delivers amazingly low distortion across a wide range. The digital direct decoder also gives the tuner amazingly wide stereo separation. Moreover, signal-to-noise ratios are dramatically improved for both mono and stereo broadcasts. The audio output waveform from our digital direct decoder. that from a conventional analog decoder. The F90 is a digital synthesizer tuner featuring the digital direct decoder and 8 FM and 8 AM station presets. The selectable narrow IF bandwidth position is useful for ejecting interference. The F70 is another digital synthesizer tuner featuring as many preset stations as the F90. It's a convenient, easy to use unit. Our impressive deck lineup this year consists of six models. First of all, our new decks are more accurate and easier to operate than ever. In our best deck, the CT90R for instance, a logic operated three motor tape transport is controlled by a microcomputer. Two more computers are incorporated for the real-time counter and auto BLE. Our top two models offer a totally new and easy to use feature called CAC, Computer Aided Convenience. Five convenient modes of operation are available to you. Blank skip in reverse lets you automatically skip unrecorded portions at the end and beginning of a tape.
the moment a silence of eight seconds or more is detected during play, the tape is sped in fast wind until the leader tape is detected. Immediately the head swivels and the tape is sped in the opposite direction still in fast wind. When the first song on the reverse side is located, the operation mode is switched from fast wind to play and playback continues. At the touch of a button, index scan lets you find any desired song on a tape. It plays the first seven seconds or so of each song, one right after another. When you hear a song you wish to continue listening to, just touch the play button. Music Repeat lets you hear the same song over and over. Touch the Music Repeat button while the song you want repeated is still in play. When the song ends, the tape automatically rewinds to the beginning of the same song. Which is then replayed. Any song can be repeated up to eight times. Suppose the tape is running in the forward direction. Just touch the music search button, then the reverse fast wind button. This lets you quickly return to the beginning of the song you're currently listening to. Just as easily you can jump ahead and cue in on the beginning of the next song. To do this, just touch the music search button and then the forward fast wind button. And finally, blank search lets you easily dovetail the end of a previously recorded program with the beginning of a new one. With the ribbon send dust head, we've overcome the most severe limitation of send dust, a head material that has otherwise perfect magnetic and electric properties for low distortion, wide dynamic range, and high output. The limitation we are talking about is core loss. We did this by a sophisticated process we discovered that allowed us to turn send dust into thin laminates or ribbons. Our ribbon send dust head uses a stack of thin send dust laminates. Our ribbon send dust head is a perfect match for metal tape in terms of dynamic range, frequency range, and high frequency response as you see. Our top cassette deck, model CT90R, features our Auto BLE tuning system. 
It tunes the deck to the specific tape in use to assure flat response and low distortion. In addition to level and equalizer adjustments, Auto BLE automatically finds the optimum bias for the tape in use. Therefore, whatever the bias requirements of the tape, Auto BLE finds a balance between flat frequency response and low distortion. The CT90R is a three-head, three-motor auto-reverse record and play model featuring auto BLE tuning, Dolby C noise reduction, a ribbon sand dust head, and computer-aided convenience. The CT70R is another three-motor auto-reverse model. It features a ribbon sand dust head, computer-aided convenience, and of course Dolby C noise reduction. The CT50R is an easy-to-use auto-reverse model. It has touch tape controls and Dolby C noise reduction. The CT1040W is a fun pack double cassette deck. With this unit, you can dub tapes, make synchronized and mixed recordings, and play two tapes over and over. The CT40 has nine song music skip search, Dolby C noise reduction, touch tape controls, and a four-digit electronic tape counter. The last deck in our lineup is the CT30, featuring Dolby C noise reduction, touch tape controls, and a stereo 10-segment LED level indicator. eight turntables to choose from. As you see, one is a tangential tracking model and two are front loading models. What you are looking at represents two of Pioneer's exclusive designs, the PG, or polymer graphite tone arm, and the new DRA, Dynamic Resonance Absorber. A tone arm of standard mass has a resonance frequency of about 120 hertz. External vibration at this frequency will tend to cause the tone arm to vibrate or resonate. These spurious arm movements add coloration to the sound. The tone arm has another resonance frequency at about 400 hertz. Resonance is like hitting a punching bag by yourself. The more you hit it, the more it will swing. Short of stopping hitting it, there's no way to stop it from swinging. Now, however, suppose you have a partner who also punches the bag each time you do, but from the other side. In this case, as long as you both punch with the same force and at the same time, the bag will not move.
we've applied the same principle to our new dynamic resonance absorber. It consists of a damper and a weight fitted on the shaft of our tone arm that together form a complex resonance unit. Each time resonance tries to move the tone arm in the positive direction, the DRA applies an equal force in the opposite or negative direction. Resonance vibration is thus completely absorbed. Let's see what happens when you drop an ordinary ball. Naturally, it bounces. But a ball made out of the material we use for our damper won't. Watch how completely it absorbs the shock of the fall. Here's proof of how well our DRA absorbs shocks and vibration. Compare left and right responses. The output waveform from the tone arm with the DRA is almost the same as the input. Have you ever wondered why turntables are not front-loading like most cassette decks? After all, a front-loading turntable will save space and give a hi-fi system a cleaner, more organized look. That's why we've developed two front-loading turntables. Both are stackable to simplify system arrangement and compact because their platters glide back into the cabinet when you're not using them. When it comes to tracking accuracy, no system is better than tangential tracking. The reason is that the stylus tracks the same straight edge to center path as did the cutting arm on a master lathe. Tracking angle remains essentially zero throughout play. Distortion and intermodulation are not generated to compromise clarity. In one particular way, our PLL800S is distinctly different from all other tangential tracking turntables. It uses a linear motor to propel the tone arm along a rail. Vibration, inevitable with other systems, is avoided and so is never heard. The PL707 is a fully automatic model with the DRA, dynamic resonance absorber, a straight low mass PG tone arm, and an accurate coreless quartz motor. The PLS70 is another fully automatic, featuring the DRA fitted low mass PG tone arm, a coreless quartz motor, and an automatic record size selector. The 
PLS50 is essentially the same as the PL70, lacking only a repeat function and a quartz lock indicator. The PLS40 features auto return convenience, the DRA fitted PG tone arm, and a coreless quartz motor. The PLS30 is an auto return model with the DRA and a PG tone arm. Model PL88FS is a computer controlled front loader, offering such conveniences as index scan and programmable play for up to eight songs. It also has a cordless quartz motor. The PL44FS is our other front loader featuring a coreless motor, an auto disc size selector, and a high output MC cartridge. Model PLL800S is our unique tangential tracking turntable featuring a coreless quartz motor, a PG tone arm, and a high output MC cartridge. Four speaker systems, S1010, S910, S710, and S510. As you see, each pair have speaker units arranged in mirror image fashion. Pioneer is not the only audio manufacturer using film diaphragm tweeters. However, most have the quail patterns printed on them, with the diaphragms themselves suspended at all four edges. Due to inherent shortcomings of this design, the entire surface of the diaphragm cannot respond linearly to the applied signal. At the diaphragm center, Sound may be reproduced faithfully, but at the edge, it is not. This is because during low-level reproduction, the diaphragm sags, and during high-level reproduction, it tries to stretch. The Pioneer ribbon diaphragm is different. For one, the diaphragm itself is a conductor, serving as a direct radiator. There's no printed voice coil. For another, it's fixed along two edges and suspended by linear dampers. The result is that the diaphragm breathes in and out as a unit in response to the input signal. Both transient response and linearity are excellent at any level. Sound is uncolored and natural. Polymer Graphite, or PG, is another product of advanced pioneer research into acoustic properties of various speaker materials. It's lightweight, does not deform easily, and has quick transient response. Paper diaphragms may be okay for low frequencies, but suffer breakup at high frequencies, which adds coloration. The reason is that paper does not have enough rigidity. A Pioneer PG diaphragm, on the other hand, moves in and out in perfect harmony. No part of the diaphragm vibrates of its own accord. 
It means better linearity and clarity. Our new S-series speaker systems use PG diaphragms in the mid-range and woofer units, and this is the reason why bass response is pleasingly crisp and tight. The S1010 has PG cones for the woofer and mid-range, and a beryllium ribbon diaphragm for the tweeter. A 14-inch passive radiator adds extra punch to bass frequencies. The S910 has many of the same features as the S1010. It lacks a passive radiator, however, and its woofer is 12 inches in diameter. The S710 has a PG cone woofer, a PG cone mid-range, and an aluminum ribbon tweeter. As you see, it also has a symmetrical speaker arrangement. The S510 has the same speaker configuration as the S710, but it has a 10-inch woofer. The same symmetrical arrangement is repeated here. This year, the Pioneer lineup includes two new and unique add-on units, the CA-100 and the MA-100. The CA-100 is what we call a tape-creating amp. This versatile unit is equipped with all the controls and functions you need to create your own sounds for recording on a deck. The auto fader lets you cross two program sources, fading one in while fading the other out. Program sources may be mic, line, or tape. Since fading is automatic, it's as smooth as if done professionally. The 7-band graphic equalizer lets you equalize any input source to create your own sounds. Pan pots, echo and other controls give the CA100 extra versatility. Use it to make demo tapes for auditions. Become your own DJ. Create tapes with smooth transitions from song to song. The only limit to the many uses of the CA-100 is your imagination. The MA-100 is a multi-mixing amp the type of unit amateur musicians and recording buffs have long been wishing for. It accepts one tape and one source input, as well as four line inputs for use with either microphones or electric instruments. Two of the mic guitar inputs let you apply parametric equalization to boost or cut response at two frequencies of your choice. All six inputs let you apply special effects, echo, chorus, or duet for more fun and versatility.
pan pots let you move the sound around for panoramic stereo, to the left, to the right, or anywhere in between. The SG90 is a 17-band, two-third octographic equalizer. It also has an auto fader to cross two program sources and connects two tape decks. The SG540 is yet another graphic equalizer with seven controls for each channel. Selected response curves are graphically confirmed by an LED indicator built into each control. And finally, here's the DT540, a timer clock featuring a digital fluorescent display.